Today, I want to talk about cash app scams and how thieves have been tricking people into sending away their money ever since the creation of cash app back in 2013. Even when people are being careful and they're aware that they could be scammed, right? Because these scammers, they're very crafty with their scams and they've been getting better in recent years. If you want to learn more, be sure to stick around and watch to the end of the video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy. Also, be sure to subscribe to my OnlyFans. I'm giving out a bunch of knowledge and information over there. Cash App is a peer-to-peer -peer payment app that lets individuals quickly send, receive, and invest money. Block Incorporated and formerly Square Incorporated launched the app initially named Square Cash in 2013 to compete with mobile payment apps such as Venmo and PayPal. The problem with Cash App, however, and the reason why scammers love it so much is because transactions are not reversible and there's no way of verifying who you actually sent money to. So for instance, I could create a fake Instagram account and send a message to a bunch of people saying the same thing along the lines of, hey, my name is financial expert David or professional trader Jack. I work at Charles Schwab and I can guarantee you a return of 1.5x on whatever you invest here today. Now, obviously this sounds super sketchy. Anyone who refers to themselves as a financial expert or a professional trader is definitely not, right? They will then say, hey, you can send me a small amount of money, maybe 20 bucks or so just to test the waters. And if you like the results, you can then, you know, invest a little more. So for example, they could say, you know, send them 10 bucks and you could be tempted. You could be intrigued. You know, you want to see what's going on. You want to see if this guy is actually going to get you a return on your small investment. All right. So you decide what the heck. It's only 10 bucks. Boom. Ten dollars sent. Then what do you know? 24 hours later, you get $20 back from the guy. You think this is unbelievable. You thought it was a scam. You were expecting him to just run off with your $10, but he actually sent you more money than you initially sent him. You think to yourself, finally, I found a way to flip my money. The scam just progresses even further with the scammer now involving his coworkers. So they all say, hey, we're all investment bankers. We work with Jack who just, you know, sent you the money. But they'll, they'll say, hey, you know, Jack doesn't really know what he's doing. I can guarantee you a return of 4X on what you invest if you trade with me. You know, they'll go on and on about how Jack is, he's decent at what he does, but he's not, he's nowhere near their level. So you should try trading with them instead and see what happens. So now they just tricked you into sending them $100, right? Which you sent confidently because you got a return from investing with Jack. So why would these guys scam you? You send $100 and 24 hours later, you get $200 back. And now you think to yourself, there's no way. But then the guy messages you, like, sorry, I totally screwed up on the trade. I was only able to double your money. But if you invest 500 right now, I can guarantee you a 12X on your $500 investment. And I can even do it today within the next few hours before the market closes. And as soon as you send $500, they block you all at once and your money is now gone forever. You can try to call Cash App. You can email them. You can call your banking institution, maybe get in contact with your local police department. You can call the freaking attorney general's office for crying out loud. You can call whoever you want to. There's absolutely nothing anyone is going to be able to do for you. Okay. So now you're calling Ch Charles Schwab and they're telling you there's no professional trader named Jack that works there and they don't use Cash App. They don't know what you're talking about. It'll be ridiculous. You don't even want to get yourself involved in a situation like that. So bait and switch scams are super popular nowadays all right and that the same goes for the cash app money flip method right people may tell you hey i can flip your money through cash app i, I know a glitch i know a, i know cash app method all you have to do is send me 20 bucks all you got to do to start making money is send 20 bucks right and you'll get 50 or 100 dollars back now this is just a blatant scam right and depending on the scammer some may even send you money back right just to try to build trust with you just to try to build a little trust with you right so you feel comfortable sending a higher amount next time before they disappear on you right but i would not try you know i wouldn't think to myself you know i could just send them 20 bucks and they'll send me 50 and then i'll be able to scam them no that's not how it works these scammers know what they're doing and even even if you did get them for 50 bucks right let's say you did get them for 50 bucks they have thousands and thousands of people that they are trying to scam every single day you are just one person you're just a blade of grass in a field right so in their eyes Losing $50 or $100, maybe even $1,000 isn't that big of a deal because they can go right back. They can go make that money right back in just a few hours, right? It's a numbers game for the scammers, all right? They might talk to 75 people within the next two hours who don't send money, but that 76 person sends 5,000 and it makes up for the, all the time that they spent trying to scam these other 75 people, all right? You're just number 74. Now, the next scam is the marketplace scam ebay amazon craigslist facebook etc so let's say i want to buy an iphone right and i go on one of these marketplaces 
I can probably find a decent one for around 200 bucks, right? Which is good because I can then flip it for $400 on another marketplace and profit 200 bucks. Now you may see a deal. And although it's listed in your city, the seller will tell you that they're like three hours away. And so instead of meeting in a Walmart parking lot, instead of meeting at a gas station, you could just send them the money through Cash App and they'll ship you the iPhone. Now this sounds nice, right? It sounds convenient, but it's unfortunately a scam because when you send the money through Cash App, there's no way of verifying who this person is, right? And let's say you could, let's say you could verify who this person is. They could be using a fake account that they created using a stolen identity. So it doesn't matter, right? Plus there's no way to reverse this transaction. You can call Cash App, you can do whatever you want. They're gonna tell you there's nothing they can do for you. So if this person just decides to not send the iPhone, you'll just have to live with it, you know, because you did authorize the transaction. Let's not forget that you did authorize the transaction yourself. Your account wasn't compromised or anything like that, anything along those lines. But even if your account does get compromised, let's say your Cash App account did get compromised. Rarely does Cash App ever do anything to help these fraud victims, right? So I would be very cautious. I wouldn't even recommend being on Cash App. If I was you, I would just delete the Cash App account and delete the app off your phone entirely, okay? It's not a safe app. And your money is not insured when sitting on Cash App either. Okay, so never send money to people you don't know. A good rule of thumb that I follow myself is if I don't know where this person lays their head down at night, if I can't drive to them right now, I'm not going to send them money over the Internet, over any of these apps, because if anything goes wrong, I'm not going to be able to get my money back. I'm very aware of that. So I would never authorize any transactions to a person I don't know. That's just stupid. Okay. Now the final Cash App scam I wanna mention here in today's video is called Cash App Friday, okay? Now this could have many other names, but I've seen it referred to as Cash App Friday a lot. Now, essentially, what people are doing is tempting others through social media, essentially dangling money right in front of their face, right? Through creating a fake account and promoting a giveaway or maybe a raffle. And they'll tell everyone, all they need to do is, you know, send $5 and in five days or whatever time frame the scammer chooses, they will then be selecting a winner and the winner will receive a $1,000 cash app sent to them, directly to them. They will also tell you that if you share this promotion on your Facebook page, your Instagram page, or maybe your Snapchat story, that you will be entered to win automatically. You don't have to pay the $5, right? You'll just get one entry. One post equals one entry, which will then give you a higher chance of winning, you know, their giveaway. So you're thinking to yourself, you know, I could win $1,000. And it's just a share. All I gotta do is share it on my Snapchat story. What the heck? So you share it along with a, a hundred other people that saw it on their Snapchat story, right? So then they share it on their story. And before you know it, hundreds of people are sending $5 to this cash app makes this scammer thousands and thousands of dollars. When those five days are up, guess what happens? Guess what happens when it's time to announce the winner? The scammer will choose a winner, but it'll be an account that he created. You know, everyone go say congratulations. <laughs> so, you, so now you're bummed out because you didn't win, but at least someone else did, right? At least someone else won, right? No, the only person that won was the scammer. Everyone else just lost $5. But they'll say, don't worry. Don't worry, everyone. We're doing an even bigger giveaway next week. $5,000 cash app giveaway next week. $10 to enter. And the cycle continues. Ladies and gentlemen, never fall for scams like these. And remember to keep a close eye on your personal information, your date of birth, social security number, and your name, right? Scammers can use this information to do all kinds of things. So be careful out there.